In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Squarespace domain over to Hostinger Hosting. Now, this will be a quick and simple tutorial. And if you watch it all until the end, you'll have your domain connected in no time. So what you first need to do is go to Hostinger and then go ahead and log in. Now, once you've logged in, you will then see your hosting plans. So here I am on the dashboard of Hostinger and you can see I've got the business web hosting plan. Now, I do believe I can add 100 websites to this. I've currently got four added. So we're going to go ahead and click on manage. Now, once you've clicked on manage, go to the website name in the top left hand corner, then click add website. And we can now go through the process of connecting our Squarespace domain. So go ahead and choose who the website's for. I'm going to put myself or my business. I'll create a website. I'll use WordPress and we can keep this as default. And I'm just going to enter in a password. Then we'll go ahead and click next. And we'll just choose here what we want to build. Now you can go ahead and obviously skip through this process. I'm going to create a blank site and we're going to skip any of these plugins and we're going to skip all of this as well. So now we've got to the domain name section. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and connect our domain. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my domain from Squarespace. So once you're logged into Squarespace, go to your profile icon, go to domains, and I'm going to connect this one here, bradleyharrison.com. So we'll click on it. We'll then go ahead and copy it. And I'll just paste it in here. So www.bradleyharrison.com. So you can see here that it is registered at another provider. We want to click on that. And when using a domain that's registered elsewhere, we'll need to manually connect it, which is fine. We can then click next. OK, so now it's going to install WordPress. OK, so now WordPress should have been installed. Now we can go ahead and go to domain and then click connect. Now it's going to say, let's connect your domain to your website. So go ahead and choose the provider. So my provider is going to be Squarespace. So we're going to click over, then let's start. Now, what we need to do is we need to log into Squarespace and we need to find the current name servers and change them for the hosting name servers. So on Squarespace, once you're in the back end of your domain, go to DNS. Then once you're in DNS, you should look here for domain name servers, then use custom name servers. And this couldn't be any easier. You just have to paste in the name servers. So click on name server number one provided by Hostinger. Paste it in. Copy number two and paste it in here. Then click save. And that should then save those custom name servers. Now you can go back to Hostinger. Click continue. And it's going to tell you that your domain connection is in progress. Now this can take up to 24 hours. So do be patient. And once it's connected, your domain will now be available. So we'll click all done. And, you know, it can take up to 24 to 48 hours. But if you've done that, just go ahead and try it. So I'll just go to my URL. We'll go to the website and you can see it redirects me straight into the WordPress website hosted by Hostinger. So it couldn't really be any easier. That's pretty much all you need to do. I hope that helped you out.